are at the Walmart. I know y'all like these shopping videos. This one's kind of fun. <laughs> I know I buy, the, some of the things I'm buying, it just started out kind of strange. Some diapers. And uh, they didn't they didn't have her size. So I had to get sm a smaller size. So I figured, well, she might not be able to fit into them. I better get some butter. She's gonna have to butter them up and get in them. <laughs> not the truth, <laughs> but it is funny. Um, <laughs> that's the size she went yesterday not yesterday but last week i bought her the wrong size i bought double extra large and she keeps falling out of them yeah they fall well actually they fall off of her so yeah i should have bought some duct tape that day uh, yep, they look good to me you know last week i got home and i dropped my damn eggs on the kitchen floor and only one of them broke and it just broke a little bit Ah, oh, hell, it's too early for that. <laughs> or is it? Maybe I've already had a little bit. I have not. <laughs> this early in the morning, seven o'clock. Hell no. I ain't been drinking. I just woke up. Actually, I'm probably still having the effects of what I had before I went to sleep. So, yeah, you never know. <laughs> but don't do it, folks. Don't do what I do. Potato chips, because that's what mom said to buy. I was supposed to go down that aisle back there to get some V8, but there's a lady down there going, <coughs> So I'm not doing it. I'm gonna wait for about a half an hour before I go down there because I don't wanna be going. <laughs> when I come to the grocery store early like this to avoid situations like that, but you still, you just, you, it amazes me how many freaking stupid people are at the grocery store still this early in the morning. So I, I try to avoid them, but you just can't avoid them. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I'm talking about that lady over there on the damn juice aisle. Boy, that's what we got, folks. There she is. Realized while I was saying that, the guy that was next to me, <laughs> just was, he was with her just then. So he wasn't with her when she was coughing. But as I was, go, I was talking about it, he was the one sitting there watching me record it. <laughs> See, since they just walked up there in front of me, I'm going to go this I'm going back this way. Because I don't even want to be in her vapor trail. That's how scared I am of catching a damn virus. Forget a virus. I don't need none. I picked up some of them things down at Cereal Isle. I picked up some V8 now. That's three dollars and fifty-four cents. If you buy the uh, Walmart brand, which is V4, it's three dollars and ninety-eight cents. So it don't. It ain't no cheaper to buy the cheap brand when it comes to buying vegetable juice. That's what we really need is a Bloody Mary, hey folks. Here's a good good deal. Over to meat by the meat. They got these frozen chicken wings. These are mixed chicken wings, and they're uh, four pounds of chicken wings for $12.98. That's a good deal. I had them before, and they're pretty good. They're not bad. But if you look right next to them, here's chicken wings. You like only the flat ones? This is a chicken, flat chicken wings, and it's four, it's, excuse me, it's three pounds, and it's $14.74. Not a bad deal, but if you're like me, you really like naked wings that are hot and spicy? Go to Publix Deli and get the hot and spicy naked wings. Non-breaded, they, well, they call them non-breaded hot and spicy. Oh my God, you can't beat them. And they're like 17 bucks. You get 20 wings in there. I, don't, I, I think these right here at Walmart are way more than 20 wings, but you ain't got the flavor that they do over there at Publix. I, try it. I saw it and I'm having to try it. Also, I'm getting this too because I love chicken sandwiches, and mom really loves spicy chicken, so I'm getting it for her. $12.73 a piece. Got me one of those, because I'm gonna make me some spaghetti. Always make spaghetti with ground Italian sauce. That's all for now. I don't think I need anything else. Uh, we'll see, I don't know. If I get something else, I'll show you. I'm just gonna show you the stuff I should have bought. I didn't buy it because I'm bananas. <laughs> Get a banana. Mom only likes very small green bananas. And I just happened to see a very small green banana. One green banana. Now I am done with my shopping. He's a guy that works in there. He's one of them guys that pushes around the uh, 
buggy that he shops for everybody else. Like, if you call in your order, he does your shopping for you. He looks just like that guy on King of the Hill's son. You know, John Redcorn, the Indian guy that screws the other, that one man's wife. He's the guy that does the bugs. He's like, he, he he's the exterminator. Well, John Redcorn screws his wife, and they had a little Indian kid. The guy that works in there looks just like the little Indian kid. I didn't want to film him, you know, and put him on video for you because, you know, out of respect for him. But he looks just like John Redcorn's kid. I cannot remember his name for nothing. What's his name? Put a comment below. I swear to God, I just saw a guy on rollerblades. <laughs> what in the hell is wrong with the world? There he is. He's on rollerblades right there. Look at him. Dude's on rollerblades. Y'all thought I was lying. Guess what? You gotta go. You gotta go. No matter how you get there, as long as you get there, whether it's rollerblades or Toyota Camrys, it don't matter. As long as you get there, well, that's all that matters. As long as you get there. <laughs> Roller blades. I didn't even know they sold them damn things anymore. That's kind of crazy. Wow. And he's an older fella too, didn't it look like. Bye. That's the end of this video. Finally.